Hello everybody, you are very welcome back to another episode of the Base Talk podcast. You've just finished a long dieting phase, put a lot of hard work in and reached your physique goals. Where do you go next? Well, in this episode, we'll discuss one potential exit strategy you can take. This is something I have implemented myself within the last couple of weeks, acting as somewhat of a stepping stone for future physique goals. Let's get into it. Following an extended cutting phase, I entered what's often referred to as a diet break. Using this time strategically for replenishment and allowing body weight to stabilize at a greater calorie intake. If I had prolonged the initial calorie deficit beyond the 20 weeks, it would have probably become increasingly more difficult to sustain and potentially lead to unfavorable adaptations. For me, metabolic health was priority, so the approach I took was increasing calories and activity simultaneously, which leads to our next topic, higher energy turnover. I would perform two sessions per day. I would often vary the magnitude of the deficit via calorie intake and or activity. For instance, I would sit at maintenance levels, enter a surplus and eventually return to a calorie deficit again. This approach not only served itself as somewhat of a diet break, but also a great opportunity to really build intensity, progress in training, increase calories and enjoy a lot more food. I remain within striking distance of the condition I achieved at the end of my cutting phase. Up next is modifying macronutrient percentages. I would experiment with this depending on what phase I'm in, based on a number of factors like satiety, training quality, the actual demands of the physical activity I'm doing, and more. An example is recently I bumped protein from 200 grams to 280, even 290 grams, and have noticed favorable outcomes visually and on the scale. So the approach I've taken for the last couple of episodes, I have shared certain strategies I've implemented, the rationale behind some of those decisions and their outcomes. If you'd like to learn more about mechanisms and the underlying processes that occur, I will do my best to accommodate linking any articles, studies and relevant readings that I happen to be engaged in below. That brings us to the end of this episode. As always, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Drop a like, comment any topics you've enjoyed below. Click that bell icon, subscribe, and check out the socials for more regular updates. We are done.